Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the chain drive system. So what is exactly the chain drive system? So chain drive system is nothing but that we have seen in belt and road drive that slipping mainly occurs. So in order to avoid that slipping phenomena, we will be using chain. So chains they are made up of rigid links which are hinged together in order to provide the necessary flexibility so as to wrap around the driving and driven wheels. The wheels, they are nothing but the spotted wheels, which will be having projecting things, and that will be fitting into the corresponding recess of the links of the chain. So the wheels and the chain are thus constrained so as to move together without slipping, and it ensures perfect velocity ratio. So as I told, the tooth wheels, they are called as the sprocket wheels, and these wheels, they basically resemble to look like a spur wheel. Now, the terms that we are using in chain drive system is, first is pitch of the chain. So what is pitch of the chain? It is the distance between the hinge center of link and the corresponding hinge center of the adjacent link. So here if you see, this is the one hinge point and this is the corresponding adjacent hinge point. So the distance between these two hinge points, they are nothing but the pitch of the chain and it is denoted by small p. Second is your pitch circle diameter or the chain sprocket. So it is nothing but the diameter of the circle on which the hinge center of the chain lies. Means when the chain has been wrapped around the sprocket at this point A, B and C. So these are the hinge points and whatever the circle that has been drawn through these points will give you directly the pitch circle diameter of the chain sprocket. So in this way, the terms are denoted for the chain drive system as pitch of the chain, that is the distance between the corresponding adjacent hinge points, while the pitch circle diameter for the chain sprocket is nothing but the circle which is drawn through the hinge points. Now, classification of the chain drive system. So the chains, they are basically classified. So the first classification is hoisting and hauling chains. So these chains are used for the following is these two these chains they are categorized into two parts one is chain with oval links another one is chain with square links so this is the chain with oval links here the joint of the each link is been welded and here the sprockets which are used for this type of chains they are having receptors or to receive the links but such type of chains they are used only at low speed such as chain waist or in anchors of the marine works while the chain with square links, this type of links they are having square cross section, and such type of chains they are used in hoist cranes, and manufacturing cost of this chain is less as compared to the oval links. But the kinking occurs means when there will be failure of this link, when the load on this link means the load on this chain will be increased. So this is the drawback of the square link over the oval link. Next is the conveyor chain. So conveyor is basically used in industry where you have to transfer the product from one station to another station. So this conveyor chain is categorized into two parts. One is detachable or hook joint and another one is closed type chain. And this basically, as I have told you, they are not having smooth run qualities and they will be running at very low speed that is at 3 to 12 km per hour. So such type of chains, they can be one positive point of this type of conveyor chains is that they can be exposed to any atmosphere, either high temperature or atmospheric temperature, as their life is more as compared to the further chain. Next is the power transmitting chain. Here the power transmitting chain is categorized into two parts, that is blockchain, then brush roller chain. So what is blockchain? The blockchain is also known as boost chain. And this type of chain is used in early stage of power transmission development. But here it produces noise when approaching or leaving the teeth of the sprocket. Because of rubbing action, there will be maximum friction between the teeth and the leaf. So such type of chains are used to some extent on the conveyor, not for the power transmission. While in push roller chain, it consists of outer plate, pin link plate, inner plate, then roller link plate pin bushes and rollers. A pin passes through the bush which is secured in the hole of the roller between the two sides of the chain. And they are free to rotate on around the bush so as to protect the sprocket from being getting weird. 
A bush roll chain is extremely strong and simple. It gives good service and a severe condition. And, but there is little noise as compared to blockchain, and which is due to impact of rollers on this rocket. So this chain they requires some lubrication, and one of, when there will be elongation due to friction, then there will be slack formation. Whereas the pitch will not maintain the pitch of the chain will not be maintained. So this is the drawback of the bush roller chain. So this is the bush roller chain here. And last is the inverted root of silent chain. So in this inverted root of silent chain, it is designed so as to eliminate the whatever the effects that is being offered on the blockchain and the bush chain, such as stretching, formation of uh, slack formation, then noise production. So that points been avoided in this inverted root of silent chain. When in the for this inverted chain, when the chain stretches, the pitch of the chain increases and links right and this links right on the tip of the socket will get slightly increased and they will try to lose the content. So this this therefore there is no easily to motion within the teeth. And here the inverted tooth and socket chain will remain cost. And here there will be means the continuity will be there when you provide properly lubrication and it will give durable service and will be running very smoothly and quietly. So this inverted type of chain will be mostly used but the thing is that cost will be high as compared to block chain and bush chain. So this type of chain will be used where efficiency means as per the requirement or as per the load requirement, these chains will be applied. Thank you.